What's going on, guys? So I kind of felt like I needed to make this commentary. I haven't made one in a while, and this one kind of touched me a little bit, <laughs> and I loved it. I I got a I got a message from my wife. It was actually a link from an article from here, where I'm from. It's uh, actually not too far from here. There was a three-year-old that reached into his mother's purse, pulled out a gun, and shot himself and killed himself. Sad day. Horrible thing. Tragedy. Uh, she sent this to me via Facebook. Social media. Everybody on that post. Not everybody. 90% of people on that post are tearing this mother apart. She's irresponsible. She should be shot herself. She should have charges brought upon her. She's irresponsible. Blah, blah, blah. They are tearing this lady a new one. And... I need to talk about this topic. I'm going to do some basic information about guns for people that are like this because I feel like this this commentary is going to be everywhere, but I'm going to do my best to talk about what it was like when I bought my gun, things that I've learned since experiencing these guns, how important it is to take classes, basic safety, and a few other things I plan on touching on this. But let's stick to the article at hand. I saw this article and I felt horrible. Um, for one, it's loss of life as a child is horrible. I, I wouldn't even imagine. I've got a two-year-old myself and... Uh, a five-month-old that's just that'd be rough these people are in there tearing her apart needless to say it was an accident everyone there was a victim the mom was a victim yeah it was her irresponsibility that led to this accident but it was in fact an accident all these people are sitting there just demanding her hung just torn apart and she is just a victim just like anyone else and it's sad because she gets to live and it'll eat her up. She'll feel guilty. She'll feel like she was responsible for the death of her kid. I can't think of a worse punishment. Prison? No. The worst punishment any parent could ever endure would be the loss of their child. That is the worst thing that I could ever dream of happening. And she's got to live with it the rest of her life knowing that she had a part in that. But let's just keep beating her up on social media till, it kill, till she kills herself and goes into a funk, depression best case scenario you need to have a bit more compassion there is a victim she's a victim yeah she was irresponsible and that's going to bring me to my next point a lot of people are weird about gun laws and i heavily encourage everybody to research guns experience guns and shoot guns the reason i say this is because you can it's safe to judge somebody that has anxiety but if you don't have it yourself you don't understand it but you get mad at them or something like that anything you don't understand you, you, if you judge it, you're just, you're an idiot. It's, just, it's ignorance. So, as much as you may be anti-gun, try it. Learn a little bit about it. Go for it. All these posts, some of these posts were like, this is why we got to get rid of guns. I'm going to tell you why, two reasons why this is a stupid idea for people to fight this way. There are other ways more... I guess eventful ways to fight the cause than saying let's get rid of guns let me shoot some numbers at you and they're probably completely made up but I saw it on the internet it's true right there are roughly 80 million civilians uh, registered and armed gun owners and like some odd 20,000 or something policemen or I don't know what it is but there's a whole lot of people armed in the United States and there are millions of guns out there um, so it's just unrealistic that the guns could ever be recalled safely, properly, and without, in, not to mention, if you just take apart the part where, you know, your country's not going to let you and they're not going to take it rolling over. Um, but even if we just say there was no rebellion from the actual people and you weren't like infringing on their rights and, you know, completely screwing over your country from how it's supposed to be. If you say you took that out of the mix, say you disarm America, what's going to happen? I'm a criminal. Hi, just call me Steve. I noticed the cops and everybody in the government took away all the guns. What's this mean? Why the hell am I dealing coke? Let's get in the firearms business. I'm going to make illegal firearms. I'm going to start selling them to other criminals because they're going to be worth a lot more than a little bit of drugs. What's this do? Steve is going to go ahead and take one of these out. What's this going to do? This is going to ensure the fact that I have no rebellion. Nobody's going to counter me or give me any lip whatsoever because I know the general public is not, in fact, armed. So I have no concerns. I have the control. I can literally do whatever I want. Crime is going to jump. Robbery is going to jump. Rape is going to jump. Think about your women, your men, 
your, your children, your wives, your daughters. If no one is armed and I have this, I can just go up to your daughter and say, take your panties off. She going to say no? No, because she wants to live. Rape and everything is going to skyrocket. So for those people that are saying just removing guns from the country, it's not going to stop the bad guys from doing it. Well, let's face it, they're bad guys. Criminals are not going to do it. Most people that buy guns are in the situation of if it ever arises, I have the ability to protect myself and my loved ones. Do I ever expect to use this? No. But in the off chance that I'm wrong, I have the ability to do that. And the moment you try to take the guns from the public, the criminals are just going to abuse the fact. Let's face it, cop response times are not that good. So let's dive into this a little bit more. A lot of people like a little bit more. <laughs> a lot of people like to blame guns. I like to see, like seriously, gun go kill someone. It's gonna be a long video, right? No, just go on, Sparky, go. It's not gonna happen. If one more person says guns kill people, and I now I know all you guys, the smart ass people in the comments, are gonna say guns kill people now, but it's just I just want to I just want to choke I just want to choke someone. Like, guns don't kill people. Do they make it easier? Can you get multiple targets? Yes. And that sucks. I get it. But we live in a country where millions of guns are out there. Many of people have them. And, and even just for ease and peace of mind, people own them to defend themselves. And the situation here is guns don't kill people. People kill people. Getting mad at that for an accidental discharge or killing a kid or me killing somebody is like getting mad at a car when a drunk driver kills someone. I've never seen anybody go over there and beat the shit out of a Toyota because it took my son. You fucking go after the guy that did it. There is always human error with it. Occasionally, there will be like a malfunction or something goes wrong, and those accidents do happen. Same thing applies to cars. When there's recalls, brakes go out, something goes wrong. Just problem. But either way, that still goes back to human error. They weren't built properly. Anyways, aside from the point, you need to start attacking something relevant. So as we have probably come to the conclusion of, this is human error. The problems lie with people. How do you help monitor and secure and ensure safety from people? First things first, we are selfish and stupid and lazy people. It's in us. Not a lot of people have ambition, true fact. It's just how it is. Not a lot of people um, understand and have a proper respect for firearms. So what do you do? You teach them about them. So for all those people trying to get rid of guns, that's not the way to do it. Those saying that, hey, I need to get rid of guns, need to go try guns out and understand them and respect them because if you're afraid of something, you need to face it. You need to learn a little more about it. So with this, one example would be, how, how do you do this? Um, for those that do not know enough about guns, uh, there are classes you can take. They call them CCWs. They're concealed carry classes. These classes in Ohio, I believe they were 12 hours. I believe they just got bumped down to eight hours. Uh, but they are eight-hour classes you have to take to learn about uh, proper safety, how to use them, stances, and everything. Six of those are dealt like classroom hours. You have to you have to be taught, educated, and even tested on these things and you can ask questions and learn until your heart's content and you get to do this with you know in many cases 10 20 other people and it's valuable a lot of people are learning as a group and it's it, it could be fun it could be informational but you have that security at place then you get two hours of range time too at least here in ohio and with that you are taught how to stand how to properly hold the gun safety always point it down so on and so forth and that's good what will this do what will this be if this was like a mandatory thing, that's what I'm saying. So if before somebody could purchase a gun like this, what if they were forced to take one of these classes, get an ID, a certification, if you will, and then at that point, then they can invest their money into a safe and whatever they need to do, then they can purchase a firearm. If everybody had it and it was mandatory to take that class, I guarantee it human error would drop significantly. People will be more educated on it. They'll know how they are worked. They have been using them and they know exactly what they are. Most people... Most accidents come from people that just do not know how to secure them properly. I own four safes. I've got two kids. I'm not going to lose my kids to an accident. It's just not going to happen. When you're not carrying a weapon, if it's not on your person, it needs to be locked in a safe. Women, do not put it in your purse. I know a lot of people want to do it. Even if you're like single, alone, old granny or something, do not do it. There are holsters for women. Google YouTube search it, if you will. You can look them up. There are sexy ones. There are ones meant for women, or for women. You can get like the thigh ones, the inner ones, inner dress ones. You can wear a sexy little black dress and still have 
five different places you can hide that gun. And it's amazing. So always keep it on your person. If it's not on your person, it needs to be in a safe. Basic rule of thumb, don't put it in your purse. Case in point, the article I just talked to you about. Now, there was another, uh, there's a whole lot of people that were on this comment in this post. Why was the gun loaded? It's kind of a it's kind of a thing that when you have a gun and most people are carrying, it is live. It is chambered. There is one in the chamber in the moment that they draw it, they are ready to shoot. That is how it is. You don't need to take time to pull the safety off, load the mag, rack it back. You won't have time for that if someone or a loved one was in safety. You can't, hey, Mr. Bad Guy, can you, five, five seconds. He's not going to wait. You're going to need it at that moment if you ever do need it. So they are live. So in this case, she had a, a live pistol. So yeah, the kid's not, a, a three-year-old's not going to be strong enough to pull that back. Just not going to be strong enough. There's no way in hell a three-year-old's going to do that. But a three-year-old is, in fact, strong enough to pull the trigger. So my case here is, for the people that didn't know, like, why did she even have bullets in it? That's kind of what you're supposed to do. That's what it's there for when you have your carry. Now, for the other people that are like, oh, hey, why didn't you have the safety on? Let me get, just give you a, a perfect example here with this one. This gun does not have a safety. I've got a lock for it, which has a key to it, but it does not have a safety. Many, if not most, People that carry do not have guns with safeties. And if they do carry them and they do have safeties, they're almost never on. Um, everyone I know that carries, they carry a gun that doesn't have a safety or it's always off. Just simply put, and they have, have it stuck in a holster, it's, it's, it's compact, kids can't get into it, there's no problem, there's not going to be any misfires because the trigger is completely covered. So the situation at hand is they carry it live, there shouldn't be any problems. And for those that are saying, why wasn't it safety? Even if the gun did have a safety... Almost all gun safeties are, are activated via button or a lever of some sort. This is the CPX-2 model. Pretty nice. The CPX-1 has a safety. It's right here. Doing that action, that's it. It's just an up and down switch. Or some guns will have a button. Whatever you do, that's what you have. So, for those who are like, why didn't she have the safety on? If a kid's digging in your purse, finds the gun, he's going to find the safety. Anyways, that part aside, and these comments come from people that do not know about guns because people that have spent a little bit of time with guns would know this basic information about them. That's what I'm saying. There's a lack of education. So that goes back to the other point that if it was mandatory for people to take those concealed carry classes, that would mean those people wanting guns would actually have to do those classes, which would mean millions more people would know and be properly trained to use one of these things. But that would also mean they'd be able to share that knowledge with other people, encourage them to take it, so on and so forth. So more of our country would know more about these guns and have a respect and a level of understanding that the majority of our people do not have, especially those that are saying, get rid of guns. So that's my thing. And, and those things need to. I think they need to have a better case for monitoring people and, and limitations on how many they can buy. For example, the first time I bought a gun, I'm not going to lie to you, the first gun I bought was a shotgun, a 12-gauge. I had $100. I bought it at a yard sale. Literally, guy had four shotguns laying on a table. I'll take that one, please. Walked out of there with a shotgun. Didn't even ID me, because America. There are, you know, a lot of human problems. We are stupid people sometimes. That's how I bought my first gun. Didn't shoot it for two years. Have a fear and natural respect for something that can take a man's life. I finally got up the courage to do it and educate myself on it. I, I never felt better. I love them. Um, next time I bought guns, I actually went to a store and, uh, <laughs> pro tip for those that are looking into buying guns for the first time, definitely go to a store, find the ones that fit your hand most. Don't just buy, oh, Hey, my buddy's got a clock. I'm going to buy a clock. Find the one that fits and works best for you. But anyways, just pro tip aside, I went to the store. Second time I purchased a gun, I bought seven of them, actually eight of them, but I sold that one. I bought two of the same one. I sold it to my father-in-law. I walked out of there with eight guns. I passed a background check, went to a buffet, walked home with eight guns, one shotgun, one assault rifle, a long rifle, a, a scoped bolt action, and five handguns. Now, I'm pro-gun, but it's, it's, that's a lot of guns for somebody to buy at one time. I dropped a couple grand on those guns, and um, I wanted to start a collection, and I had that right and ability to do that. But... 
if people are properly taught and educated, that should be okay. Right now, in the current state, you know, if I heard my neighbor bought seven guns at once, I'd probably be like, oh, wow. Seems a little excessive. How are they allowed to do that? Why is there no limitations? But anyway, you can fight your battles. What I'm saying is for those people that are trying to go against guns and say get rid of guns and all this stuff, what you need to be doing is fighting for proper safety and education on them. So for all those moms out there that are saying get rid of guns, I'm tired of all these kids dying, now you know which way. Find some politician's door to beat down, do what you got to do in that state, or find some other alternative. That was just me spitballing. That's just an idea I had right before I started making this commentary. But there are lots of things you can do. I mean, it'd be great to have, you know, like, evals and stuff make sure people are proper in the head when they get their guns and stuff but there's just not the money or manpower to do that kind of stuff but either way i mean there could be some more limitations and and whatnot in play for guns and i'm pro gun i'm all for guns um my whole family are, are we're all getting together and taking uh carry class in three weeks and if if not a couple of the women don't even plan on carrying but I want them to learn and know a little bit about it. You'll you'll learn a whole lot about um, that kind of stuff. And I feel like you need to be educated on something before you start judging people or or getting mad. So if you want to limit the accidental discharges and, and, and kids' deaths and all of these problems in our country, the, the the problem is not with the guns; it's with the people. And you got to find another way to fight that. But that's just that's my part. Like I said, I, I taught you a little bit about it. A lot of guns don't even have safeties. Um, it is a mandatory thing that you need to buy a safe. If you've got kids, if you don't have kids, you can put a shotgun in the corner and trust that your wife is not that dull to like go shoot, you know, anyone. But even then, you don't want to keep it loaded because it falls down. You see videos all day long where those things will go off if there's something wrong with them. But anyways, just fear them. You can, you can have fear for something, but still have a respect for it and, and, and still control them properly. But you need to know what they are capable of. And the only way you can do that is by experiencing them firsthand. So that's my homework assignment for you. When you guys are old enough, if possible, if you live in this country, learn how to fight. Learn how to deal with them. Learn how to shoot. Learn how to do it properly. And that's my piece. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you feel, whether or not you agree with me, disagree with me. You have any other ideas to throw in there. Go for it. Please be respectful for other people. I know this is a very sensitive subject. Share it around with your friends, your moms, or anything like that. And again, for the women out there watching, like I said, do not carry it in your purse. Find a holster that is perfect for you. You can wear it where you want, how you want, and your kids will never even know about it. You can wear cute outfits with it in the summer, summer dresses, and it's easy, easy access. So with that, hopefully you guys have learned something. If you did, be sure to leave that in a comment down too. Let me know what you guys think about this video. And I will catch you guys probably next weekend with another one. I'm still working on getting like the production value and whatnot up for my reviews before I start making actual gun reviews. So please, thank you for being patient. And I'm done rambling now. I'm going to go eat some noodles. Awkward. You're still watching me. <laughs>